In this video, I'll be using Wix to package the new Microsoft Teams MSIX installer into MSI file so that I can deploy it using root policy. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find a video about PSExec. That's because I will be using PSExec to execute the MSI installation under the system account to make sure that it works fine under the system account because when we're deploying software with group policy or other software deployment tools, everything happens under the system account. And then there is a video about installing Wix and also a general video about packaging executables into MSI files using Wix. And that's basically it. Now I'll begin this video by downloading the installation file and for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft documentation page. As you can see here we can download different types of installation files and for this video I'll be downloading the MSI X 64-bit installer. So I'll click on this link then I will go to my downloads folder and wait for the installation file. And now that I have my installation file the next thing that I need is a Wix configuration file. And for that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have two configuration files. One of them is already finished configuration file with all the information filled in and the second one is the template. And I will be using the template one for this video so I'll click on it. Then I will click on the button right here to download the configuration file. Go back to my downloads folder. Here we can see the configuration file. I will right click on it and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. You can use any other text editor to open this file because this is just an XML file. Basically it's instructions for Wix on how to package the executable and also execute the installation. And in this file we only care about this part right here. Basically we need to fill in the information that is unique about our installation file. And here first I need to provide a name for my MSI package and I will just name it MSI X Teams Installer. For the exe we need to provide our executable file name so for that I will go back to my downloads folder I will rename this file and then I will select the full name to include the extension because the extension is important and then I will just copy the name then I will insert the name here for the path we need to provide the location where we currently have the msix package in my case it's my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my d drive so I'll type d and then downloads and then version and the publisher is not that important for the version number in most cases I like to keep the same version number as the software but in this case I will just enter 1.0.0 for the publisher I will just enter list automation and now we need to provide a GUID and GUID is a unique identifier that we need for our package and for that I will go back to my github page because here I have a PowerShell command that I can use to generate GUID so Select it, copy it, then I will open terminal, insert the command here and as you can see every time I'm using this command I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I'll copy one of those values, go back to the configuration file and insert the value here. And that's basically it. And now we can generate the MSI file. And for that I will go back to my terminal. First I will switch the location in the terminal to my downloads folder because here I have the installation file and also the Wix configuration file. So for that I will type cd, d drive and then downloads folder, press enter. If I type there we can see both of the files and to generate an MSI file we can type Wix, build and then provide our configuration file name. Maybe first I will be renaming this file from template to themes. And then I will provide the teams.vsx file in here. And now I will press enter and now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see Wix finished generating the MSI file. Here we have it in the downloads folder and now I will right click on it, copy it and then I will go to my VMware workstation because I will be testing the installation on this virtual machine. As you can see here I already have the psexec folder. And it's not necessary, like I said, I will be using PSExec only to test the installation under the system account. And it's not necessary in most cases. And now I will open a CMD window. I will run it as administrator, click yes here. First I will switch the directory in my command line to the directory where I have all the files. So I'll click here, copy the location from here, type cd, insert the location. Then I will switch to my D drive. 
And if I type who am I, you can see that currently this CMD window is running under the admin user. So to switch to the system account, I will type psexec minus i for interactive minus s launch it under the system account. And then we need to provide a process that we want to launch. In this case, to keep it simple, I will launch another CMD window. I will agree with the license terms. And here we have another CMD window. But this time, if I type who am I? We can see that the CMD window is running under NT Authority system. Once again, we want to change the directory to the location where we have our file. So I'll type cd, insert the directory, press enter. Once again, I will switch to the D drive. And now to execute the installation, I will provide the MSI file name. I will add qn for the silent installation. And also, I will add no restart. And I will also start the command with cmdc. This is also not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished. Then I will press enter and now we need to wait a bit. And the installation seems to be done. We had a little pop up and that's because I'm using Dism to execute the installation for the msix file. As you can see here in the configuration file, uh, we are using Dism and here are all the necessary parameters to perform the installation. So we have a little pop up, but that does not affect anything. If I go back to my start menu and go to all apps, here we can see Microsoft Teams was successfully installed. If I click on it, it should give us the sign in screen. And here we can see the sign in screen and everything seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.